All right. How is everybody? I wanted to do a rainbow wave. Um, I did my big blue ocean wave and I will show you guys, I'll link it down below, but I loved it so much and I thought, you know, it's the month of June, might as well go for some type of rainbow. Um, and I'm using Amsterdam and water for my paints and I'm gonna do it basically the same as I did on the blue ocean wave where I crest it up this way. And, okay, I don't wanna use all my white just in case. And I'm using my little Lully Vethy mat today um, so that if there's any really cool like rainbow drips on it, I can get to those. So I'm using a Revlon blow dryer. I bought an attachment off Amazon. It was super cheap, but it didn't fit. So I've got it taped on. You guys always see me use it. When you hear me blow, if you hear my blow dryer rev up sometimes, it's because I'm pressing my cool button. So if you guys are having trouble with your either blowing too high or uh, not blowing enough, check your consistency first, and I'll link that video as well, but also check and see if you have a cool button that may help you out. So you want to make sure that you get a good thin layer on the canvas. If your paints are too thick, then you'll end up um, with like some ridges in your painting. I've had some people ask me about that as well. So I try to, I use my blow dryer so that I can try to get it as thin of a layer as possible. Um, the paints are thin, so you could tilt, um, tilt like this and the paints would move. So see, I've got a little bit of movement here from my paints. So you can also do that. I just um, would recommend having like a little cup underneath so that you could catch the runoffs. Um, okay, so I, like I said, I'm gonna crust it this way. And I think, I think I'm gonna start with my red. I left out green out of the rainbow colors because my yellow is going to go next to my blue and I think that that's going to create. Um, and I'm going to start kind of up here. And then I'm dripping. You see how I dripped here? Because I don't want a huge puddle to blow into this white. So gonna come in with the orange next and I do want to kind of layer them a little bit so I'm gonna come in with these colors first and I don't want a ton of the red or the orange to take over so I'm gonna have the majority be the blue and the purple out here but I'm gonna blow back this way for each color in the hopes that I'll get some of the red and orange and yellow lacing through there you'll see you'll see now I'm going to come in with the yellow. Again, just droplets through here and then more of the paint on this side. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room so that I can weave some of the other colors in. So now here comes my blue right up next to that yellow. And I'm thinking that that will maybe make some of the green. Oh, I don't know if this is going to turn out or not, guys. Whatever, I gotta try, right? I always say that, you gotta try. Okay, I think I want a little bit of this blue in through here too. I'm leaving space in between here and I've said this part before, 
because when I blow, I want it to, to blow over each other and cover the canvas. If I have too much paint already, it's just gonna be kind of a muddy mess. So, here's my purple. I'm gonna do a little bit of the purple in there as well. Okay. And when I blow up this way, I should get a little bit of the blue in there. If not, I'll fiddle with it to get it. And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like my red may be a little bit lost. So I'm gonna go with one more red right through there. Maybe one touch of red through here. I don't know, guys. What do you think? It looks pretty cool like this. Could I stop like this? And you guys need to tell me, Molly, stop because I'm going to have too much color on the canvas. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. All right. So let me pop the air bubbles in this. This is a, people were asking me about my torch too. It's a creator torch. I don't know if you guys can see that. Urban creator. Um, I just got it off Amazon. A really nice lady contacted me and she sells them there. But I do like it. It's kind of big. It has a big flame to it. The first one I got didn't work. I was worried, but she sent me another one. It worked perfect. So it just must've been a malfunction. Okay, so now the reason that I'm putting this white through here is because this Amsterdam white and water is what creates those beautiful effects. And I want this to be bright. So I think I'm just gonna start and kind of blow this way. And then as I get around to right here, then really try to crest the wave. And maybe I'll add, I don't know, maybe I'll add just the tiniest bit of blue like continue this on right up here. And then maybe just the tiniest bit of purple. I just don't want those colors to kind of, to muddy. Okay, all right. Okay, wish me luck. So in hindsight, I do wish, and I think I'm going to do it again right here. I do wish I'd had just a tiny bit of the blues and the purple in here because I like how the yellow and the orange fanned out into them. This is exactly what I was looking for on this outer portion, but I didn't have any of the blue colors up here in the wave. So, 
I think what I'm going to do is scrape this top portion off and curl it back around with some of the glue. So these aren't perfect. You kind of got to work on these if you don't get what you want. So I'm just going to take that portion right there off. And then with this, you can just run your hand on in there and create kind of that crest that you want. And so I think what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of the red through there. A little bit more, I have a ton of orange already, um, so I don't think I'm gonna add that one. And this is just really, you gotta kind of create what you want at this point. So I'm gonna kind of come back through with my rainbow colors. And I said I may have had to do that, so I knew that that may be a possibility. But I really kind of do want this to be a, like a colorful crest. I didn't want it to be all red through there, but I don't know, we'll see. I feel like that's always what I end up saying, like, oh, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, and then this tiny little bit of white right up here, because I had scraped that off. Okay, now I'm gonna blow back out this way and see what happens. Oh, I'm sorry, I get so excited. <laughs> yes! Oh, wow. I'm so happy, I'm so pleased with this. So now, if you guys have seen any of my other waves, you know I come in and kind of wispy this part up along in here. Sometimes I blow, let me see. Sometimes blowing it creates a cool kind of choppy look to it, which I like. Getting kind of some of that motion in there. I don't want it to be too, too rough though. It's not rough waters. I want calm waters. Well, you know what I mean. I think that's plenty. Y'all, that cr this is my, f I got all the rainbow right there. And not a ton of mud, surprisingly. By mud, I just mean brown. not gonna fiddle anymore, I don't think. I wrapped this around. I love this lacing right through there. It's kind of funky on the outside. I got exactly what I wanted with the color streaming through, almost like a tie-dyed effect. I'm happy, I'm gonna torch. Only thing is maybe if I'd had a little bit more yellow right in here, but I, I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm going to be happy.
Y'all, I love it. I'm just gonna, with my finger, drag just a couple of things right there. Give it kind of a funkier look. Yes, 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 yes. I thought this one was gonna, I mean, it, it, it was. I had to really like think about it. I thought it was gonna be very difficult. Okay, my favorite part. All right, let me show you. Okay, here it is. Let me take off my autofocus. Look at that. Oh my gosh, and you see how there's green? So if I had had green in there, I feel like it would have just been way too much, but I still got the green in just the right amount by placing that yellow next to. And these right here, those little cells, those are all made from um, Amsterdam, torching the Amsterdam paint. I'm so happy I got this like, this is exactly what I was going for. The tie-dyed look coming out, the orange and the yellow coming into the blue the peak of purple. Now, if you wanted your purple to be right there, I would have done the reverse rainbow. So start, you know, your purple next to your white, because if I do this, you know, ever again, I, I would reverse it because that is gorgeous, that combination. So I would do purple here and layer all the way out to the red. But you guys can let me know what you think. Hope you like it. I'm so glad I added that portion up there. Right? Oh, wow. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hang around and I'll show you the dried result. Thank you guys. All right. This is how this turned out. It is so cool. And I didn't even mean to, I mean, like this is supposed to be like a rainbow, but it's almost like a fire, fire and ice type wave. I am contemplating right in here coming in with acrylic paint and maybe doing like some little outlines of purple and blue in here just to add a little bit of interest. But look at how that dried. Are you kidding me? Gorgeous. I really like it. Something different, you know? Doesn't have to be all ocean colors all the time. Will you guys let me know what you think? Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.